the October Chord right here on the Tony Jones Show. Here's to you the name of that one. Before that, we heard from Mark Cutler off of Red Vampires, the name of that track. You are tuned in to the Tony Jones Show, TonyJones.org on Facebook, Facebook.com slash Tony Jones Show. And of course, on the almighty Twitter at Tony Jones in RI. My special guest co-host this evening is George from Providence Night Out. Dot com. George, good evening. Thanks for having me again, Tony. Also in studio, Pistol Shot Gypsy. Now, one thing I like to do on this program is I like to break things down to the very macro level. So I want you guys to think about someone listening to this show. They're hearing the name Pistol Shot Gypsy for the first time ever. Tell them who you are and tell them your story, how you became a band. Wow. How long is this show? <laughs> <laughs> right. um, well, my name is Ron Travis. I'm the lead singer. and uh, I'm Jeff. I play guitar. I don't know how to begin the story. It's, yeah. it just, it's been like, uh, I mean, a short version of it would be we're just friends who whittled our way down to this lineup, I think, is, is probably a short... You uh -huh. know what I mean? I've been doing this a long time, and I've come across Jeff over the years, uh, different bands and lineups, and uh, I don't know, the last maybe five or six years, we've, we've had the lineup we've pretty much wanted. Is, you know, five or down. six years, that is so this 100 lineup. years in music time. Yes. <laughs> yeah, as well as the other 15 before this lineup are what got us to this lineup. So it's a, it, it's a friendship thing, I guess, more, you know? Yep. The love of playing music, going out and yeah, doing and finding a long time. commonality between the people, you know? That's good because if you have to spend large amounts of time in a small room with people that you dislike, um, well, that's how you end up like Fleetwood Mac. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't work long uh, if, if, the, if you don't really have a legitimate right. friendship with the people. I, I find, I mean, I've been in a lot of lineups and it's always come down to a, you know, some kind of personal issue with this one and that one. And it's like, this is not why I got into this. And I, I've just moved on lineup after lineup. But like I said, I, for me being older, I've whittled it down to this is the line, you know, the people I, I get along with the most. My best friends pretty much, you know. So how would you, if someone was comparing Pistol Shot Gypsy to other bands, what would you list as influences and, and who to compare you to? Ooh. Um, I mean, I don't know if, I don't know if you can compare us to any other, I mean, Providence is very diverse, so we definitely probably couldn't say we sound like another band in Providence. Which is good. I guess, yeah, right. and it's like, uh, and other bands also, I mean, they don't sound, you know, I don't think you find two bands in Providence that sound the same. I don't, I don't think, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But, uh, I mean, I'm, I mean, for me, I mean, I come from the, I'm a 70s kid, so I come from the Zeppelin and, you know, Boston and then into the 80s with Ozzy and Sabbath and I, you know, and I don't, you know, I, I dug the grunge thing, label or not, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so, I mean, there's a lot of influences, you know, probably heavier influences more than not heavier influences. Right. Everything but. from Alice in Chains to Pantera. Yeah, everything really. Yeah, I mean, uh, old school hardcore. I, I, me and Davey were in, in the hardcore scene back in the 90s. Uh, I was in Fall from Grace. So I played guitar. He played drums. I, mean, I was in Rise with Ronnie. Yeah, I mean, we've done it rap core, <laughs> uh, <laughs> hardcore, yeah, this core, that core, you know. But right now, I mean, I guess people would call it rock and roll, but it's just, it's just music, you know. So describe to anybody listening what an average Pistol Shot Gypsy show is like. Oh, wow. I mean, loud. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's usually loud. Uh, probably pretty much free-flowing. I mean, there's no... I mean, you know, we just live the moment. Like I said, I'm an old-timer. I'm an old 70s kid, so I mean, I like the old... You know, you watch a song remains the same, just standing there and, and belting it out. No bells and whistles, just... Or Aerosmith, you know, hammer it out. And if you so, have a good night, it's a good night. And if you don't, you have the next show. You know so what I mean? What, but, so what you're telling me is that by the end... And this is something I endorse... By the end of your set, you guys are covered in sweat. Yes. Oh, yeah, most definitely. See, that should be the hallmark of any band. Well, any good band, I should say. It's We've gotten towards just kids hanging out on stage, staring at their shoes all night, and it is painful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, we, I actually, we, we just did a production called On My Way this past week, and uh, we are, we're a live band basically doing the soundtrack for this, the drug awareness program anti-drug thing called on my way and uh one of the kids was asking me about groupies and <laughs> groupies and groupies and all the kid would ever talk about is groupies i was like yeah but what do you got for music like what do you have for material or what the, who do you want to read well, he's like well what about the groupies i'm like dude you know it like, can't be about the groupies you know and he's like you never had groupies i'm like 
I'm not saying I don't like girls, but, it, you know, if you're doing it for groupies, you're probably not going to... This isn't the 70s, you know what I mean? It's not going to be like the movie Rock Stars, you know, it's not like that. Hey, do you know what AM radio groupies look like? I know. That depends. <laughs> <laughs> hey <-o. laughs> I mean, That's a young kid asking me, you know? Right. I mean, a high school kid. Yeah, high school kid. Groupies, groupies. Oh, can you play anything, <laughs> you know, and that's worth listening to? And he's like, well, no. Like, it's going to be hard to be in a band that matters, you know? <laughs> I have some uh, Michael Graves queued up, and we have soon look to look forward to a brand new Michael Graves album. It's actually currently in production, but this is from the album he released about a year ago. It's off of Vagabond. Here's Michael Graves. <laughs>
the name of that one. It's the Pixels right here on the Tony Jones Show. Before that, we heard from former Tony Jones Show guest and former lead singer of The Misfits, Mr. Michael Graves, hydraulic-entertainment.com. Michael Graves, all, I mean, I can't even explain to you. I'm looking at it right now, the amount of projects that uh, that Michael has coming up from DVDs to videos to uh, paranormal experience. So go to hydraulic entertainment Dot com to check out Michael Graves. And of course, while you're there, go to TonyJones.org, Facebook.com slash The Tony Jones Show, and on Twitter at Tony Jones in RI. My special guest co host this evening is George from ProvidenceNightOut.com. George, good evening. Good evening, Tony. And in tow with him, he brought the boys from Pistol Shot Gypsy, who are unfortunately going to be wrapping it up with us as we change gears. We're going to bring in Davey from Midday Records, but let everybody know, A, how they get a hold of you, and I hear you guys also have some shows coming up. We do. Uh, mm-hmm. Tomorrow night, we're playing Nostalgias in, was it Warwick, Jeff? Warwick, yeah. And after that, the technological side's up to Jeff, because I'm technological computer s- illiterate. You can check us out at uh, com. You can also find us on Facebook. It's just uh, search Pistol Shot Gypsy. Uh, we're on Twitter. iTunes. We're, iTunes. Damn. Soon to be on Providence Night Out. Soon to be. <laughs> Providence Night Out. I'm working on that tonight. We we'll are a midday on record Night out. band. So. Yes. See, that's the sh- that's the sign of a true businessman right there, George. Well, You, you know, would we- not let them get out of here yeah. without mentioning Providence Night Out and, and soliciting them no, to well, get on there. Well, you're right, for one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, these are the people who help us, Midday and George. I mean, yeah. that's yeah. who's making it go on, just... You know, by supporting it. And that's what we're trying to do. And I, the first time I saw these guys was at a midday social. They did an acoustic set at platforms, and it was just totally blew my mind. And luckily, I think it was one or two nights later, you guys were actually playing near my home. At the 1150. At the 1150 Oak. Which, by the way, anybody listening, if you get intoxicated at the 1150, you're more than welcome to stay on George's couch. So I <laughs> just want to put that out well, there. Or you stay in my son's room. I feel <laughs> down, in, down in his room. <laughs> But then I, I went to the 1150 Oak, and um, again, it was just amazing to me. I think these guys definitely defined the rock scene in Providence. Um, the way they opened their sets with a cover, and then basically then used that influence through the rest of the set. Nice. It was really well done, I thought. So, And I, I still have the CD, Better Late Than Ever. Still yes. Still in my car player. Brand new album. From that night. And um, it's just a pleasure to see you guys and, and listen you. to your music. Thank you very much. Pistol Sot Gypsy, thank you guys again. George, thank hang you. tight. We're going to hear from Johnny Earthquake now. This is a track called Bashing My Head Against the Wall. You heard it here first on The Tony Jones Show. Tony Jones. 